Hello, thank you for joining me um, as we complete this painting. In the first video, I showed you how I painted the sky with um, two colours, cerulean blue and white, to get this very simple colour. Um, if you haven't seen the video, um, you may like to just go check it out. It's a very simple, quick way of getting the putting the sky down on the canvas. In the second video, we showed I showed you how I went about getting this shrub done with just four colors. And again, if you haven't seen the video, it'd be nice if you could go check it out because, as you can see, the painting is has has taken shape and it was very quick in doing it. So for this. In this video, we're just going to finish up the foreground, which is here. And I'm going to use basically the same paints that I used for the shrub. I'm going to work from light to dark, because in, in the foreground, the further away it is from you, the lighter it is. So I'll be using some, uh, some cadmium yellow. Right, there you go. I've just made my brush slightly wet and I'll put that down there. Let's put that there. I'll take some sap green and just try and blend them both in. I'm not in any way trying to get a perfect blend. Um I believe I believe in painting it says painting painterly so leaving I love it when there are brush strokes and in a painting and you can actually see the movement of the brush through in the paints so you, there you go I'm just making that place lighter And for the closer here we are, I'll just make my brush wet again. I'll take a mixture of the sap green and a French ultramarine blue. I'll put that down there. And take more of that. Just mix it all up. And put that there. That. It's always when you're working with acrylic paint, it's always good to have water close by because um, because as the paint dries up, it becomes it's not very workable. Or with some um, water, tend to make it easier to work with. So, okay, just keep doing that. I'll go back again, <coughs> just take some some yellow, probably some some white, just splash of there. Now I'm very happy with this end result. So as you can see, the painting has taken shape. We started from the sky, then the shrubs in the in the background. Then the foreground which we've just completed and basically we've used one two three four five six six colors for this painting and it's a very easy way to start painting and with this you can now go on to painting on bigger canvases with just the same principle with as few colors as possible you can always create a wonderful masterpiece um, thank you for watching this video and please remember to click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my um, with my videos as I'll be uploading a new video every week and if you have any questions please do put it in the comments section and I will answer it as, as soon as I can and for the materials that I've used and the colors that I've used I'm going to put um, a description in the description box um, with which you can get the materials if, if desired. 
I wish you all the best and thank you for watching.